A dangerous situation for drivers at a busy intersection that thousands of people pass through each day. Even after complaints, nothing happened until CBS2 got involved. Catherine Brown has the story of the blocked signals in Hoboken. Drivers say they've been lodging complaints about the dangers at this intersection just outside the Lincoln Tunnel for the last week, but they say their concerns went unanswered. Look closely. Can you tell whether this traffic light is red or green? Neither could these drivers at this busy Hoboken intersection. The 14th Street sign blocks the actual light. I can't see when the light's going to turn green. Can you see what color this light is right now? Um, not at this angle. I mean, I can see it's red, but like between the two lights. The intersection of 14th Street and Willow Avenue is the gateway to Hoboken, Jersey City, and Union City from the Lincoln Tunnel. It's under construction, part of a $54 million federally funded project. Stoplights here are being replaced. And at three points of the intersection, the new ones seen here still shrouded in black are on the side of the existing ones. But drivers coming from the Lincoln Tunnel have found their views partially or even fully obstructed by a combination of the new lights, poles, and street signs. Stopping short and then speeding up. Can't make the right hand turn, you can't see anything. You can't see the existing lights blocked by the new light. Pulling up the first time, I couldn't tell whether the light was red or green. It's completely blocked. It's not until I see other cars moving, ease into the intersection, and I'm almost under the light that I can tell it's green. It's dangerous, you know, it's not visible. You know, it's unsafe. The Hudson County Division of Engineering acknowledges it received a number of complaints from drivers and residents. A spokesperson says those big street signs were put up with the expectation that the old traffic light would be taken down as the new one was energized. But technical glitches kept that plan from coming together in sync. Still, the county did nothing until CBS2 started asking questions this morning. By this afternoon, crews had moved in quickly and discreetly removing this large sign a couple hours ago, leaving only a minor obstruction a simple step to make a safer path for drivers several days late and under media microscope. A spokesperson for the Hudson County Division of Engineering today issued an apology for the problem and says the new lights should be active within one week. In Hoboken, I'm Katherine Brown, CBS 2 News.